Hello, Rackle here, and welcome back to another video of Here's and Generals. Today, it's a little bit different video. This time, I'm not gonna play the game, I'm gonna talk about the game. So, if you remember last video, I made um, the previous um, Battle Pass video um, saying, if you want, um, comment down below to, see, to tell, tell me what do you want to see in the game to come out and stuff like that. Um, sadly, no one did any, no one said anything, but probably that's mostly my fault, because... I uploaded kind of late so today I'm gonna just go up because I have 300 hours on epic and 1070 hours on steam on this game and I believe I'm qualified enough to tell you about the game what I want to see in the future what I think it, they should add um, remove maybe if I can think of stuff so the first thing that I want to see in this game would be Something about Axai have everything, every faction, all of the characters, all of the guns. I played every single thing, so I think I'm qualified enough to give opinions about characters in this game, um, what they should add or something or other. So, as you know, I basically like to complete the whole game um, if if I can, and I barely, I basically did that kind of. It's not. 100% at everything I wanted to do and they keep adding stuff and stuff. So it's great. The game is great I love the game to, to death. It's just a little bit I have some little bit of problems and those problems would be Let's go a random faction doesn't matter. So let's go Let's go normal infantry for now. So the first thing I would I would assume that they would be doing There's no more. I will complete every single career orders yes the first career orders were kind of challenging and very expensive you need uh, i think 600k to finish s some of it or even more but already had most of the things done so it was easy for me to do and i i just had to save some money but the big problem i have is i have too many soldiers and i don't know what to do with them i had to buy for the careers orders I had to buy another sniper, another tanker, paratrooper, and a pilot. And yes, I can maybe think of some stuff what I can put for them um, to use, but I, for now, I don't, I don't want to use them at all. Um, I'm doing other things, and they basically just fill the inventory slots of my characters. So, yeah, it's kind of, I don't know what to do with them. So I would. Really, it would be really nice if you could sell what you bought at least half price to sell it back because maybe yes it's some of them are expensive but if it was like career orders when you didn't even need it and it's just filling your space we got uh, you can sell sell some of them um just probably be great if you can sell weapons before then just not the ones that you got for free of course because that would be um, abusing the power, I guess. Just a little bit, but wouldn't do that much harm. But, um, or they should bring back the disable button. Because remember when once it was, they, it said um, you, you can only use 40 characters at a time. I don't know why that rule came up to be exact. Back then I didn't have that many soldiers. Um, it was a pretty long time ago. And... I did kind of try to disable and enable characters. Now I don't know how to do that anymore. There's no disable button, no, no, nothing. I think they removed it or I just don't know how to use it anymore. So <clears throat> I would recommend that they would add that back at least so I can remove some soldiers I don't use because I don't have anything. Because I finish. I got every single character for free once. I don't know why. Um, so I can have every single class ready. I don't know why that happens, still don't know, but, um, yeah, I finished the, the, the main battle pass, the main, no, not the battle pass, the daily rewards, I finished it once, no, once and a half, and it, the, 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 the characters that you unlock stack constantly, and, yeah, it would be, it's getting a lot Filled, and I don't know what to do with all the soldiers. So I have like say three snipers, um, five. I don't know how many infantry, three, two to three pilots. It's really a lot. 
So I would like to disable them or at least sell them for half price that I bought them. Not the ones I got for free, but the ones I bought. So that's the first thing I would assume. So the next thing would be selling items. As I saw, told, told you before, not the ones that you get for free or anything. Let's say a lot of people. And I mean, a lot of people, when they start, they just max one character. If I go to my German um, sniper here, that was my main class at, at first. And I bought every single gun, maxed it out. And I, I had basically everything but one pistol. And I believe that was this pistol. No, this pistol. Let's change the look of it. I had this pistol. And I didn't have this pistol. And yeah, I wanted to max everything. As you can see, I have almost every badge gold here. It's ridiculous. I clicked the wrong thing. We go to badges i have basically everything gold almost but everything that i can have almost gold it's ridiculous i played a lot and yeah uh, when you do that what do i do with all these guns that i have here i can put it to depot to share it around and stuff like that to other player other cl classes but let's say you have too many stuff like me if i go to depot somehow i have these things i don't really need them i would like to sell them for half price at least so i get at least some money um what else do i have like a lot of attachments i don't know what to put where to put them all i have no clue i don't know how i got most of these attachments here but it would be really great that i would be able to sell them for half price the only problem would be um people already abuse um this power when you click on a weapon right if we click on the weapon okay i guess let's click on this weapon right this weapon is twice as much as this this is half price you send it to depot right and people abuse the power to put all the attachments on let's say on this gun and put it on depot and then you have a lot of free the attachments don't count as money so you don't have to pay half a price every single attachments you have on the gun so that's pretty neat so maybe that's that's the only like loophole i can think of that it would be a problem but let's say you have so many attachments you don't know what to do with them um it would be good to sell them at least half price at least because some of them yes like the scopes are very expensive and only some characters can use the scopes but all those characters already have the scope and just a pain in the ass overall and i don't know what to do with all of those attachments i don't know how they can fix the loophole or whatever but it would be really nice if you can sell to clear stuff because I have so many stuff. I don't know what to do with them. And I would like the credits or something. Another thing I want people to add, if I go to tankers, you know, I already said, said it before. But the tankers have a little bit of a problem, at least the medium tanks. Um, not the last medium tank, because that one is pretty strong. That one works with everything. But let's say we get to a different tanker of mine that has only medium tanks. Like this one. Medium tanks are in a weird position. Because you use light tanks to fight light tanks. Or you use heavy tanks to fight heavy tanks. Or tank destroyers to heavy tank destroyers. Those, those ones still have some room to work with heavy tanks. But medium tanks. The first one and the second one. Usually people don't use them at all. Because why would you use a medium armor tank against a heavy armor tank? It just makes no sense. So... The, the, I would propose tanks against tanks, most of all. Um, they, it's only light tanks against light tanks. Heavy, um, te heavy tank destroyers, medium armor tanks, and tank destroyers all in the same match. And that's a little bit of a problem. I want to play medium tanks and fight medium tanks. The only way you will fight usually medium tanks or and tank destroyers is if you play against US. And you cannot choose that and most of the... You're gonna play against Germany as its most popular faction for now. So that's the only thing I think they should add on the tanks against tanks. A medium and tank destroyer category battle field, battle match. Because that would be really helpful for medium tanks to max them out. Have fun and not worry about heavy tanks two shotting you while you can only penetrate half of their HP. So that's that's the thing i want to at least prioritize another attachment to the game mode 
another one that reminds me would be pilots so if you know pilots only have three categories right um there's the recon plane um, fighter plane and heavy fighter plane um basically heavy fighter plane is this giant plane it'd be really great if people added the game mode just for heavy fighter planes um in war you can probably find some of those game modes but it's really rare and hard to get because i think you need to have a max level um in war soldiers of plane pilots i think i'm not sure i don't really play that much war soldiers putting everywhere because i really don't know how to play it properly so yeah what would it be nice if they split it to more categories because the, the, the problem is people will just use the secondary medium plane and the last plane i don't know why it's medium plane but second and the last plane because those are the two strongest planes um, at the moment um and the recon plane that's mostly all the planes people use the first plane the first fighter pilot is was upgraded quite a bit it's pretty decent but it still lacks against the other two so it's still not that great to use maybe they would put another category i don't know what category that would be probably it's not really it's all they all count count as the same thing but at least for game logic game sense that people would still use this plane this tier of plane and make only for this tier a separate tier for this plane because the problem is, why would you buy this, where you can buy this plane, or this plane? And there's there's no reason, because th these two planes are really strong, they can turn the same speed, they, they have their differences, so this one is still better than this one in multiple ways, but this one cannot compete. This one can only compete against recon planes, and maybe this giant planes, because they're just giant. Um, then also, a game mode with just giant planes, I guess, would be really nice. So people could practice the giant planes against giant planes. Because if you, if you go this plane and the enemy has this plane, you're screwed. Because they're small, fast. Yes, you can be kind of fast, but you're so huge. It's really hard to level them up to get all the rounds. I don't re really am able to even play this plane. Most of people just say pe to use these planes when there's no pl enemy pilots in the sky. And you just drop bombs and kill infantry around that's the that's the use or tanks that's the use of this plane but i would like to use it they have a minigun on the back um no one's use no one plays it and it's really frustrating i would say so that's another thing i would like them to add and also um pilots have a uh they, they got nerfed heavily because of paratroopers so if you remember there was the badge of of paratroopers um this one this badge when you when you drop and when you almost touch the floor open the parachute parachute you would survive they remove that so the and now you need to literally calculate how high up you need to open the parachute and then glide even though you open the parachute and you slowly land on the floor if it was too low you would take damage and that's a big problem with pilots because when they get destroyed they're pretty low on the ground already and they open parachute they will always die they at least they should change so they would the pilots can survive that I fall. I know it was kind of it would destroy the I guess it would destroy the point of um, nerfing this, but at least they would have some somewhat a chance of surviving when they jump out of the plane when the, their plane is destroyed. I would at least say so. So yeah. So now that we're talking about some weapons, I will go to US. US has like I think it is the worst faction of every single faction. Because they're missing an anti-tank rifle. I mean, they, they should get at least one of them, right? I don't know if US ever had an anti-tank rifle. They probably have in World War II. Maybe, probably, yes. Would make sense, right? If they didn't, I apologize. I'm not really a war enthusiast to know what guns exist and what don't. But it would be really nice if US got an anti-tank rifle. Because it's missing that specific weapon. I would say so that would be really nice if they add it on this faction so yeah and another thing for the lols for the hee hee ha ha generals i know generals in logics platform generals usually don't go to war they don't fight they just control from their base 
where the troops will go in war let's just go to war let's just choose a faction in war you can place soldiers everywhere and that all neat and nice um people understand this game i don't really understand this game that much but yeah that's a thing that you can do but the no the thing would be really great when i first played this game when i look at the generals i believe one of the generals was holding a pistol i don't know which one was it us for the funds for the lols i guess that you could play as a general i know that doesn't make sense probably that this is never gonna come into the game but when i first saw the general i saw a picture of him holding a pistol i was like hmm i think it was maybe in the loading screen or something uh, when i was here i was like considering buying the general once because uh, one of them was holding a pistol like he was he was in battle like shooting and really funny because it's so expensive right the general that you can play as a general in the game i don't know just let him have only a pistol or something and just play as, as a general in game and you can shoot people maybe count as a normal infantry but it's a like a rare a, a rare sol soldier that everyone has so at least maybe you can level up this in game this badges in game or something we'll have another ch another way to upgrade and just play um, play soldiers in battle because already it's hard enough to do that when you don't know what you're doing as you can see i got some xp by trying some soldiers in war and stuff but it takes forever to unlock anything so it's just a fun thing to do i don't know it's just a pistol and that's it i don't know what pistol maybe a special pistol or something just so you can play as a general so you don't have only one option and that is put soldiers in war and stuff but i don't know that's just a funny idea that i thought of when i first started playing the game but probably that this is never gonna happen i'm just saying for the hee hees and ha ha's so if you know there is a progress bar in heroes and generals and it looks something like this right um pe some people would look at that and was like oh i'm gonna make everything gold um i went that for the germany i believe it's gonna if it's gonna load yeah properly voila so sniper look at this where is my sniper damn it um let me choose a correct soldier in germany so my main sniper when i went to pro progress right as you can see i finished everything i got everything but when i went to progress okay they changed it it seems or it's not selecting the right soldier for some goddamn reason so when i first played and i got the german sniper i don't know why it's not showing the, the main sniper that i used that's probably another uh, glitch i guess so as some people people will look at here and see hmm okay i need to buy this and this and this and get get it to gold right um okay maybe i can change the sniper here i can't that's a shame but some people will look at it uh-huh that's how i make the i can max everything the only problem is this thing to make it this high level and put, creating this type of class or whatnot but i don't know why it's show, showing this sniper i have no idea how to change that i even cho chosen a, a sniper i wanted to sh share because i did actually try to make him gold on everything and yeah um the only weird part is it, it recommends some weird stuff but i still tried to get the right stuff but yeah um i have basically everything like let's say of this sort on my main sniper even to make it gold all three gold stars to at least maybe get rewards if you do this right that makes sense right because what why is this a thing then um maybe to people would get a recommendation what they should use at least and stuff like that but i don't know you tell me what do you think people should do, should add on this because this is under underused um thing in this game so yeah I just, there should be something some kind of reward of doing this or maybe you get something free or something for the fun for the lols and stuff like that they should really use something with this because people don't really care about this at all why would they it really doesn't make sense for them to care but yeah and another thing i guess people sh the, the game should be adding as you know if you did the battle pass you get a lot of veteran memberships 
and i am like i want to use everything the maximum power as i can um yes you can do do it on you you can basically try to monopolize the veteran membership as much as possible by when you get it play as much as possible to use as much as possible the veteran membership some people buy like a the, the big bundle of the the veteran membership for multiple days a month i guess or something like that people buy them um the, the only problem would be with that type of thing let's say just for 24 hours uh, veteran membership that you can pause it if you cannot play and you got a veteran membership so you can pause the veteran membership or at least activate it when you want to activate it so you can use it when you truly need it um because it's really annoying for me because i really cannot play every single day anymore no i can but i need to do so many other things that it's a little annoying that i cannot uh, use the veteran membership as much as possible because the great boost of money um, when you finish a match and all of those buffs to use more things for the soldiers like the secondary badge another gun that don't really use this or another v no vehicle is not, that doesn't exist anymore something like that uh, for for soldiers you can set and that brings me up to the next thing so if you know the biggest problem i have is with the badges so you know when you get the veteran membership again you put okay i'm gonna put another another thing so i have the camouflage badge on the sniper i want them well, i want the sniper to also have marathon so you got a veteran membership you put metro um, marathon on and you're set to go and then you have um, all the other characters uh, like like me i have every character for every single weapon almost um and i don't have time to every single time i get a veteran membership and then when it expires to redo adding two badges to every single class or anything make it so you can put um let's say i have this and this i put it on here when i have veteran membership and there should be let's say a save button something so when the veteran membership ends it still stays in the category but it says i don't know warning this badge will not work until you have veteran membership or something like that so don't have to keep adding on every single soldier and every single faction again and again the badges because it's super and time consuming especially when you have so many soldiers so at least you can set up the class you really want it when you have veteran membership so you don't have to constantly do it every single time because when you have so many things you can change characters in game anytime you want is it, you can do okay today i'm gonna play the, the tanker i'm gonna put all the badges that the tanker should use let's say quick respawn and quick reload or whatever or quick fix or whatever it's called mechanic and the gunner and and then you realize oh wait um i can, i should stop playing tankers and i need to go infantry so i can help my team capture more points and then you look at the badges or every other character that you didn't place because you didn't think that you would change classes mid game it's really nice if you could save the slot um whatever you want to use as a class and at least when you get the veteran membership so you don't have to constantly drag for every single character again and again because most of the time you're gonna forget what you put there before and stuff like that that would be really nice detail to add for the badges it's really annoying when you have a lot of soldiers not every problem is like that but yeah okay for the last thing i want to add as well um gold you know gold there is a thing that a lot of games do that they make you play if you have the time to play the game as long as possible as uh, let's say daily missions i know daily missions who wants to play every single day but i don't know make daily missions for the people that don't have the money to buy um things with gold and stuff like that put daily missions to get a, sh a little amount of gold um every day or every week doing weekly missions or something like that some kind of stupid mission that are very like easy to do just play normally or i don't know destroy one tank i don't know shoot down a pilot 
to or I don't know, kill a sniper in the head or something, something stupid like that. Get headshots, this many headshots. Do like some daily, daily, daily um missions, so I can get I don't know a little bit more credits. That I believe that's gonna be career orders, but I don't know something simple with a little bit of gold, so people can let's say get some gold by playing a lot of your game. I don't know if that, how much it helps that when people play a lot of your game. But that will probably maybe help the game. Um, it's gonna probably lose a lot of money for people to buy. But the people who really enjoy the game would probably pay. And there are some people that don't have the money. Cannot afford a lot of to buy gold and, buy, and use this gold for like me. Um, or the people that, that don't want to do all the daily missions to get all the gold. And get some credits or something like that. They'll just pay it right out immediately that's what usually that happens but i don't know maybe that's a dumb thing for me to add but yeah at least maybe think about it it could be interesting and people will probably play more of the game if they have something to do like me i have nothing to do except for maximizing every single class the badges and stuff like that but that's just boring grinding and it'll be really fun to have like certain missions to do it's gonna ruin games yes but i guess just disable it for war I guess we cannot do missions in war, but in normal it doesn't really matter if we win or lose that much, unless for practice sake, but it'll be really interesting if that did exist. Okay, so that's basically everything that I can think of that they should add to the game. For removing out of the game, I guess, planes. They removed the planes. Planes too powerful, I'm kidding, but you need to make a joke here and there. So I heard from one person that they want to actually remove the 40 gate of one again faction to have more than 40 um, characters i don't know why you need more than 40 i don't even don't get it but that exists so yeah i don't know what the reason is that that person wants more than 40 characters to have or i already have for every single gun and it's not even close to 40 let's count I have 21 soldiers and that's already too many soldiers. I don't really need more. Like, let's see. I have troll classes. I have like the knife pistol guy. I have a medic. I have literally the sniper paratrooper, the SMG paratrooper, the LMG paratrooper. It depends what they have for their slot of weapons. So, yeah. That's <clears throat> the only thing that's we weird. Why more? I, I saw a lot of people having a lot of anti-tankers. I guess to monopolize um, anti-tanker weapons. If you go here, you know, the first anti-tank weapon is pretty cheap, right? So probably they have multiple of them so they don't have to refill or earn their money out of that. So yeah, <clears throat> that's the only weird part that uh, someone wanted that the game should add on. I, I, I don't understand why you don't, cannot have more than 40. I don't need more than 40. I thought maybe in the whole game, more than 40 is too much, but it's just per clan or whatever faction that you play as. So yeah, that's basically going to be it for this video. Sorry that there's not going to be any gameplay, but I just want to talk about the game a little bit. Because that, that was on my mind for a very long time to do this video about. But I didn't have enough information about the game and I feel pretty confident I have enough information. If you have any ideas on what you think I'm, let's, let's say, missed, because I'm not a genius, I don't know literally everything about the game, tell me tell me in the comments. And if there is a, a developer of this game that sees this video and thinks, hmm, good points, maybe, um, I want to check the comment section to see what other people think about this information that I just spewed out. It's not a thing that they should be in the game, I just give them some ideas there. Because I do play a lot of this game and I, I want to see this game grow further and get more popular as the time goes. Um, please um, don't hate on the game. The game runs by, I guess, a small team if I heard correctly. And and they are not, uh, they are struggling with, I guess, money. Because develop a game and doing it in a quick fashion order so people would stay and play. They need to do a little bit of I'm asking for money so I guess help them out if you can if you don't if you can't it's fine it's you don't have to 
but it is nice if you can but that's gonna be basically it for this video please comment down below i want to hear what you think and i'm gonna 100 read every single comment every single video if it gets deleted by youtube i'm sorry it just happens sometimes youtube deletes my videos for some whatever reason hopefully you enjoyed this video please comment down below so maybe the devs if they see this video they can read the comments and see hmm and i'm really interested what you think they should add or remove from the game and don't be don't give stupid ideas or remove all the, the anti-tanks because i hate them playing against when i play tanker or i don't know don't don't do that it really really you don't have to. so thank you for watching hopefully you didn't enjoy this video um hopefully i didn't miss anything hopefully i said everything and thank you for watching see you next video bye